Hi everyone and welcome to today's more reports on Tuesday the 18th of August with me Richard Perry, Markets Analyst at Handtech Markets. The European trading session has gone off to a bit of a negative start really. The general risk appetite is not great at the moment but there's no real major selling catalyst um, that's uh, moving markets. It's just the fact that um, we had overnight um, dec well declines on Asia uh, driven by um, uh, the uh, Shanghai index actually closing quite sharply lower and that sort of drifted into the uh, European session really a um, bit of negativity you've still got um, declining commodity prices oil is down 0.8% again and um, you're still seeing this move to the downside and that is affecting um, certainly risk sentiment and what you have seen today is for example the the more safer haven commodity currency uh, sorry the more safer haven currencies such as the yen the swiss uh, gaining against the dollar um but the dollar is generally uh, fairly positive though but still we're seeing a little bit of um sort of uh sort of consolidation really in these markets across the forex majors i'll talk about the all the pairs in a bit but uh, certainly that seems to be the case at the moment so uh, there's not a great deal of movement on that dollar move but what we are seeing is continued um as i said the safe haven uh, or reduction in risk appetite safe haven moves treasuries are being bought so that's putting the treasury yields lower again so that 10 year still remains in that um declining downtrend so that is interesting. Um, right, so in terms of what we've got to look forward to today, well, we've got the UK um, inflation data at 9.30. Now, that will be um, an interesting one because the, the uh, comments from Kristen Forbes on the, FM, uh, on the uh, MPC at the weekend, uh, Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of England, she is a voting member, and she was suggesting that... Um, sort of in inflation is um, sort of getting to the level at which point they, they're going to need to do something because um, it she reckons it takes about two years for inflation uh, sort of it for uh, monetary policy to really hit um, hit the economy so she's sort of getting ready for this move and uh, any sort of uptick in inflation today I think could have an impact on that you've got inflation that's forecast to be uh, zero on the headline number um, but also watch out for CPI as well, which um, if that starts to pick up again, uh, then we could start to see some uh, some real uh, traction to the upside in cable. Uh, I think or sterling certainly. Um, just going into that number, cable is basically flat, um, but uh, yeah, that could have an impact at 9:30. Then into the afternoon, we've got the housing data for the states. We've got building permits and housing starts at 1:30. Uh, building permits you can see here from this chart shot up in the last two or three months and uh, they're very strong um, and uh, housing data generally has been uh, has been positive so um, what we've got is an expectation of just a slight um, pullback on that number to 1.24 million but still that would be again a strong number uh, we've also got ho housing starts expected to come in at 1.19 so again a slight increase on last month so housing data in the states continues to remain strong there. Um, so uh, that takes me to my chart of the day which is silver now I, I sort of talked about silver a couple of weeks ago and um, suggesting that silver was breaking out to the upside now we're seeing is silver potentially building a top pattern that's not even silver <laughs> that's annoying anyway um, here we go right here's the silver chart and we've got this sort of that move that broke the downtrend that was um, breaking up uh, that sort of formed that little base pattern above $15. Now we've seen this consolidation around $15.50. Now $15.50 if I zoom out is a massive old key floor or what I took to be a key floor area for this uh, silver price. Obviously yeah it's sort of there is a, an element of sort of um, leeway I think you'd argue between certainly now it is up towards this resistance I think and the fact that we've had a bear key one day reversal or a bear out bearish engulfing pattern I think uh, just put pressure to the downside and if you look on this intraday chart let me just show you this is a bit of a head and shoulders top pattern it's very close to forming I've said on this chart that 1507 is the support on this and um, that if if you start to lose 1507 and also the support 15 bucks 
15 bucks to, as you can see here was the old resistance which becomes new support so if you lose that on the downside you could easily start to see a, uh, quite a significant correction but look at this hourly momentum the hourly ma rsi falling away consistently in decline so that is corrective momentum also the macd lines consistently falling away lower highs on that so it certainly suggests that the momentum is being lost in this move to the upside so um you've already had a crossover on the stochastics look at this one up here had the stochastics crossover and then called that the beginning of that next leg lower so what we've had is that um, if you start if you see it confirmed below the 80 line on both the, uh, the red and the blue line then uh, that is um, confirming the stochastics crossover sell signal is another one here that had a sell signal moving above and then crossover and then that began that little decline so these crossover sell signals do work on silver on the stochastics and we're in almost going to get one today if uh, if silver closes at these levels so you, you are beginning to see silver potentially rolling over at that key resistance again so very interesting that we're seeing that could that have an impact on gold uh, silver has been leading gold in the last few weeks so that could be um gold under pressure but uh, i'll talk about that gold chart in a bit but in the meantime i wish you good luck in your trading on silver and i will speak to you later